I'm Anil Kumar and now let us practice how to find maximum or minimum value for a quadratic function using partial factoring. Question here is determine the maximum or minimum value. We are given two different functions y equals to 2x square plus 12x minus 3 and y equals to 3x times x minus 2 plus 5. This is partial factored form. And We'll, we are going to actually explore this form. So what I will do is, I will do one of these questions. I'll do the first one and you practice with the second one. So let us see how to find maximum or minimum using partial factoring. Now we can partially factor the first two terms and that is how it gets its name. 2x squared plus 12x has 2x in common. So what we get here is x plus 6 minus 3. Now if you consider a parabola which is 2x times x plus 6 just that part of a parabola then axis of symmetry for this parabola will be exactly same as that of 2x times x plus 6 minus 3 correct. So at this stage we will find axis of symmetry using these 2x intercepts for the parabola 2x times x plus 6, right? You can also interpret this as y-intercept of the given function. So the y-intercept of the given function is what? That is what we'll try to see now. So y-intercept is x equals to 0. So if x equals to 0, we get y value is minus 3. So it would be 0 and minus 3. Now we can consider image of this y-intercept image will be what? Image will be when x is equals to minus 6 even then y will be minus 3. So that becomes the image of the y-intercept. At x equals to minus 6 again this factor will be 0. 0 times anything is 0. Right? So we get image at minus 6 minus 3. Now, these two are actually x-intercepts of the function 2x times x plus 6. So, these are two ways of looking into the same thing. So, axis of symmetry will be what? So, axis of symmetry will be average of these two values, right? So, which is 0 plus minus 6 divided by 2. So, that gives us the value of x as equal to minus 6 divided by 2 as minus 3, right? Vertex will be on axis of symmetry, correct? Since vertex is on axis of symmetry, if I substitute minus 3 here and find the value of this function at minus 3, I'll get the maximum or minimum point, right? So that will be at 2 times minus 3, minus 3 plus 6, minus 3, correct? So, the value is 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, minus 3 plus 6 is plus 3, minus 3. That gives us minus 18 minus 3 and that is minus 21, right? So for this function, we have a minimum value. Why minimum? Leading coefficient is positive and therefore the parabola will open upwards, correct? It opens upwards and the vertex represents minimum for us. So in this particular case we have a vertex will be which will be at x value of minus 3 and y value of minus 21 and this vertex will be a minimum, right? I like you to follow the same method practice so that you can find the vertex for this equation, correct? The answer should be what? average of these two zeros, this is always zero, this will be at plus two, right? Half of plus two is plus one. Once you substitute one there, you get your value, right? So the value will be f of one equals to three times one minus two plus five, which is three times minus one plus five and minus three times, I mean, plus five, that is equal to two. So the vertex in this case will be x value is 
half of 2 which is 1 right so that is 1 and the y value is 2 so that will be your answer for this particular question right so follow the steps and check your answer i hope that helps thank you and all the best